Millard Fillmore was the 13th president of America, known for his approval of the Compromise of 1850, which allowed slavery in the South. This law failed as neither the North nor the South was happy with it. Millard Fillmore was born in a log cabin on January 7, 1800, in Moravia, Cayuga County. His parents were Nathaniel Fillmore and Phoebe Miller. He was as the second of nine children. His parents were not wealthy, and he was raised living on the frontier. From these humble beginnings, Millard Fillmore rose to the highest position in the land. Millard Fillmore died in Buffalo on March 8, 1874. The career of Millard Fillmore included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He struggled to get a good education living on the frontier and was apprenticed to learn the cloth making trade. He eventually attended New Hope Academy, studied law, and was admitted to the bar. He then entered a successful career in politics. His term of office as president commenced following the death of President Zachary Taylor, who had served for just 31 days before he died on July 9, 1850. Millard Fillmore became the 13th president of America in 1850 and served for three years until 1853. Millard Fillmore married Abigail Powers on February 5, 1826. At the age of 23, she took up a teaching post at Colt Academy. One of her pupils was 19-year-old Millard Fillmore. Gradually, their relationship of teacher and student evolved into a romantic liaison. The couple had two children, Millard Powers and Mary Abigail. Due to her delicate health, the First Lady entrusted many routine social duties to her daughter, Abby. Abigail Powers died just 26 days after leaving the White House. Five years later, Millard Fillmore married a wealthy Buffalo widow called Mrs. Caroline Carmichael McIntosh. Millard Fillmore belonged to the Whig political party. The Whig political party operated from the early 1830s to the mid-1850s in opposition to the Democratic Party and favored a program of modernization, economic protectionism. He was 50 years old when he was inaugurated as the 13th president, inauguration as a president swearing in service. Fillmore didn't make an inaugural address. Millard Fillmore ran for president in 1856, but lost the election. He was 5 feet 9 inches in height with a heavy build. He had unruly brown hair which turned white as he aged, blue eyes, and a fair to ruddy complexion. He dressed immaculately in dark suits. He founded the private University of Buffalo and established the first permanent library in the White House. Fillmore's wife had the first running water bathtub installed in the White House. In Congress, he opposed admitting Texas as a slave territory, and during the Civil War, Fillmore opposed President Lincoln. During his presidency, he played a key role in major events of the era. Millard Fillmore was instrumental in establishing the Compromise of 1850, which consisted of five bills which defeated the arguments about territories between the slave states of the South and the free states of the North, thus staving off the confrontation that would eventually lead to the Civil War. In terms of foreign policy, Millard instructed Matthew Perry, the Commodore of the U.S. Navy, to embark for Japan in search of a Japanese trade treaty with the West, which would provide important trading opportunities. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Millard Fillmore, whose greatest accomplishment was opening a trade avenue to the Far East. The next U.S. president was Franklin Pierce. Let me tell you a little story about a man named Millard Fillmore. Born in New York State on January 7, 1800, he would become the first president born in the 19th century. Growing up, he apprenticed as a cloth maker and eventually found an appreciation for law. At 26, he married Abigail Powers and together raised two children. Millard's reputation as a smart and accomplished lawyer led him to own one of the most successful law firms in New York. During his years, he also served as an assemblyman congressman and vice president of the United States. In 1848, Millard Fillmore was nominated as vice president, running alongside Zachary Taylor, who eventually won. On July 9, 1850, Fillmore became the 13th president of the United States, succeeding President Taylor, who died in office from a stomach condition. He became the last member of the Whig Party to serve as president. During his time in office, he famously passed the Compromise of 1850 and started the White House Library. Years earlier, he co-founded the University of Buffalo, where he served as chancellor, while at the same time serving as vice president and president. On March 8, 1874, Millard Fillmore died at the age of 74 after suffering a stroke. And there you go, a little story about a man named Millard.